Section 7 of Dreams by Olive Schreiner. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Noel Badrian. Chapter 8 Life's Gifts. I saw a woman sleeping. In her sleep, she dreamt life stood before her and held in each hand a gift. In the one, love, in the other, freedom. And she said to the woman, choose. And the woman waited long, and she said, freedom. And life said, thou hast chosen well. If thou hadst said love, I would have given thee that thou didst ask for, and I would have gone from thee and returned to thee no more. Now the day will come when I shall return. In that day I shall bear both gifts in one hand. I heard the woman laugh in her sleep. London Chapter 9 The Artist's Secret There was an artist once and he painted a picture. Other artists had colours richer and rarer, and painted more notable pictures. He painted his with one colour. There was a wonderful red glow on it, and the people went up and down saying, We like the picture, we like the glow. The other artists came and said, Where does he get his colour from? They asked him, and he smiled and said, I cannot tell you and worked on with his head bent low. And one went to the Far East and bought costly pigments and made a rare colour and painted. But after a time the picture faded. Another read in the old books and made a colour rich and rare. But when he had put it on the picture, it was dead. But the artist painted on. Always the work got redder and redder, and the artist grew whiter and whiter. At last, one day, they found him dead before his picture, and they took him up to bury him. The other men looked about in all the pots and crucibles, but they found nothing they had not. And when they undressed him to put his grave clothes on him, they found above his left breast the mark of a wound. It was an old, old wound that must have been there all his life, for the edges were old and hardened. But death, who seals all things, had drawn the edges together and closed it up. And they buried him, and still the people went about saying, Where did he find his colour from? And it came to pass that after a while the artist was forgotten. But the work lived. St. Leonard's on Sea Chapter 10 I Thought I Stood Part 1 I thought I stood in heaven before God's throne, and God asked me what I had come for. I said I had come to arraign my brother, man. God said, What has he done? I said, he has taken my sister, woman, and has stricken her, and wounded her, and thrust her out into the streets. She lies there prostrate. His hands are red with blood. I am here to arraign him, that the kingdom be taken from him, because he is not worthy, and given unto me. My hands are pure. I showed them. God said, Thy hands are pure, lift up thy robe. I raised it. My feet were red, blood red, as if I had trodden in wine. God said, How is this? I said, Dear Lord, the streets on earth are full of mire. If I should walk straight on in them, my outer robe might be bespotted. You see how white it is, therefore I pick my way. God said, On what? I was silent, and I let my robe fall. I wrapped my mantle about my head. I went out softly. I was afraid that the angels would 
see me. Part 2 Once more I stood at the gate of heaven. I and another. We held fast by one another. We were very tired. We looked up at the great gates. The angels opened them and we went in. The mud was on our garments. We walked across the marble floor and up to the great throne. Then the angels divided us. Her they set upon the top step, but me upon the bottom, for they said, Last time this woman came here, she left red footmarks on the floor. We had to wash them out with our tears. Let her not go up. Then she with whom I came looked back and stretched out her hand to me. And I went and stood beside her. And the angels, they, the shining ones, who never sinned and never suffered, walked by us to and fro and up and down. I think we should have felt a little lonely there if it had not been for one another. The angels were so bright. God asked me what I had come for, and I drew my sister forward a little that he might see her. God said, How is it you are here together today? I said, She was upon the ground in the street, and they passed over her. I lay down by her and she put her arms around my neck, and so I lifted her, and we two rose together. God said, Whom are you now come to accuse before me? I said, We are come to accuse no man. And God bent and said, My children, what is it that ye seek? And she beside me drew my hand that I should speak for both. I said, We have come to ask that thou should speak to man, our brother, and give us a message for him, that he might understand, and that he might... God said, Go, take the message down to him. I said, But what is the message? God said, Upon your heart it is written, Take it down to him. And we turned to go. The angels went with us to the door. They looked at us, and one said, Aye, but their dresses are beautiful. And the other said, I thought it was Maya when they came in, but see, it is all golden. But another said, Hush, it is the light from their faces. And we went down to him. Alasio, Italy End of section 7